In uh, 1980, Handy and Harmon had a manufacturing facility in Pennsylvania that developed a way to manufacture a seamless tube in very long lengths, up to a mile in length. And that seamless tube required expansion on that factory. And because it was in a residential area, it wasn't allowed. So Camden, Delaware was the area that was chosen. And hence, in 1981, the first 60,000 square foot facility was put on. And that product is uh, still integral today to the safety of the oil and gas industry, where the tubing runs from the platform to the wellhead, from the wellhead to the safety valve that's down at the source of the oil, allowing for a shutdown in the event of an emergency so that no more oil would flow to the surface. So and hence began this business where they started with Chevron and working with big oil and then the unique process of manufacturing one long piece of tubing was then applied into several other industries. This is the raw material that we receive and this is an extruded hollow about 30 feet in length and what we do in our first operation is we reduce this down so as you can see we reduced the outside diameter, the inside diameter, as well as the thickness of the wall. So now we've taken this 30-foot piece and stretched it into a 150-foot piece. And in the process of doing that, we had to use lubrication. You must use lubrication when you are, when you are forming steel, when you are drawing or working steel, or else it would heat up to the point of destruction, whether it be the tools or the material itself. And once you have that lubrication, then the lubrication must come off. And so there's cleaning processes, and then from there, we put it into an annealing furnace, take it back up to 1900 degrees, 2000 degrees F, and then the material is soft and it's ready to go back into the process, and eventually it'll come down to a size. This may be one of the passes along the way, one of the stops, a pretty common size for us, and then Finally, there's a, a lot of product that finishes at a very small size that's used in many different applications. This application for this particular tubing and this customer is within our life sciences market segment where tubing is used for the plumbing on chroma, chromatography machines. Depending on where the raw material started, what size, and the processes for the finished tubing. Um, this may go through the drawing process, which again is drawing, cleaning, and annealing again and again in our very process intense manufacturing environment um, 15 to 18 times until it's at its completed size. But the completed size is ultimately a very high integrity piece of tube, which is great for um, pressure applications where our tubing is utilized. Almost 70% of the output of this facility is in one way or another related to energy. Uh, the, the world's energy demands for the next several years are very strong, and whether that be in um, natural gas, in oil, in uh, alternative energies, we participate in hydrogen, in solar, in uh, compressed natural gas. So we're, we're very fortunate to run the spectrum of energy, whether it be onshore or subsea. So for us, it, um, it's an exciting future. We've, we've just uh, added on 10,000 square feet into our facility. As well, we've uh, a, a large purchase order for a new vacuum furnace, which eventually will give us the chance to almost double our business in size over the next several years. And again, our confidence in uh, the people, in the vision to provide seamless solutions for critical applications and to be able to take great care of customers, we feel it's the right path to move this business forward.